Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. And we've got a unique, rare car for you right here. I met Paul. Paul, what's your last name? Paul Ernst. Paul Ernst. And Paul, you don't see this very often because how many originally of these type of cars were built with this M code? Uh, the paperwork says 48. Sometimes they say there was 50. 50. And what is it that we have today? What year and make it? It's a 1968 Dodge Dart. Uh, GSS for Mr. Norm's dealership in Chicago. So let's uh, step right alongside and show it because the sun is hitting it just right. Now as we take in the side of this car, there's a little bit of deception all over the side of this car and we'll talk about that in just a second. So as we get closer, and this color looks really nice right now because the sun's hitting it, but we start with, it does not have a 383 in it. What does it have in it? It's a 440. So tell us why it says GSS rather than GTS. Mr. Norm uh, took the T out and put the red S in there to be a uh, Grand Spalding Sport. And he liked the idea of the 383. The signet was still there. First of all, they didn't have a 440. And he liked the idea that it was kind of a sleeper. There's really a 440 on the hood. So the 383 badge stayed. We've got these wonderful red line tires here. Almost like a little fire coming out of there but he uh, had the special M code. Now, how did that work? I mean, uh, the Dodges were coming down the line, and what happened here? They came down the line without the engine's transmissions. They were shipped to Hearst Campbell, along with uh, specially equipped 440s with automatic transmissions. The 440s had uh, three free manifolds and three free oil pans. The GSS again. So, you know, my first thought as we're walking around the car is, do you ever see another one? Uh, I've seen a couple of these. They make a Revell model of a black one. Is that right? Okay, we'll go in the interior in a second. We've got the stripe on the tail. And since it's a 68, we've got the little marker light that was needed. Uh, let me just show that. And there's your Grand Spalding Dodge he location. He every car, too. He dyno tuned that's what that sticker, you put the sticker on. Once he dyno tunes it. So let me come back here and show you the back of the car. Like so. So unique, so wonderful. And might I add, so educational. I get educated by people like yourself sharing this stuff with me and sharing with the channel. Let's open up the trunk, shall we? Because we have a few treats in there. Now some of the treats right off the bat, because people will say, no, they never did that. There's the Galen Govier. Yeah, he thinks there maybe was 52. Okay. Um, but they were, the uh, 40 were built on December 10th of 1967. He thinks a couple came out afterwards. And let's talk about this. You tell me about the Mr. Norm Sports Club Special Award top winner. Sure, the first year I brought here to Carlisle in 2009, um, he autographed it, and he gave me his uh, top A-body wow. trophy, which is there. That's a nice honor. And then tell me about this here, People's and, uh, Choice. And, and, uh, here it's actually saying yeah. one of 48 breeds, but go ahead. Right. In July of 16, I had the car here at Carlisle, and one of the judges from the uh, Greenwich Concourse d'Alliance was here, invited me to their show in June of 17. So I took the car there. And I took uh, best in class. I was in the muscle car class of about a dozen cars. Wow! And I took first place. <laughs> now, have you cool. always? Yeah, have you always had? Well, you know, how long have you had this car? Uh, I purchased it in 2000 and needed a full restoration. And you're good at that. I do everything but painting. Okay. Yeah, but this is really well done. All right. So we'll close that, okay. and we'll. Uh, may I open the door here? Sure. Thanks. So. I mean, this car looks brand new. Right. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna let you hold that just because we're on an angle on a hill. And here we have the GTS badge. And we have our instrumentation. Let me just show the buckets. I mean, Paul, I, I've never restored a car, let alone to this kind of uniqueness and level of excellence 
how does it feel personally? I mean, what, what, what do you kind of feel when they give you these awards? Do you feel like that's awesome or is it? It is little, awesome, yeah. It's, it's totally cool. humbling. I have a lot of friends that help me with the restoration too, so it's, yeah. Kind of thanks everybody. It's like a team win. Team win. A team you know win. It. Got it. Okay, great. I'm just going to sit right here. Now, as I understand, I don't know a ton about M codes, but I understand they were only automatics. That's cause, correct. Because they came with a warranty saying it's really too bad of a car, so we don't want you shifting and blowing everything up. Right. They're all automatics and they're all drum brakes. No, no discs. No discs. Oh boy. Too much drag when you're drag <laughs> racing. <laughs> too much drag. Most people have bought these cars. When oh they're yeah. Racing. Right. So this car was, I mean, really badly in need of restoration, you no, shared? No, the body had a typical Mopar, rust in the corners and the fenders, and that was it. The rest yeah. of the body was really good. The frame was good. Okay. But, you know, it has everything new. Everything got restored. And where do you find stuff for an M-code dart? Most of it's all still just Dodge we'll darts. Okay, we'll take a look under the hood. Most of it's just Dodge darts, so not a lot special to the M-code. And the sun's hitting this one just right. We'll see why in a moment. Now share with me some of the, the welds right off the bat because we've got this, the camera. So, so the first thing they had to do at Hearst Campbell was to, to create this new motor mount. So and it was cruelly welded, cruelly piece of metal put in. They put a bolt through the uh, oil pump. Yeah, I see that. Um, the dipstick had to be modified. The uh, fan clutch. Had to be modified, um, and of course, it looks like Mr. Norm did this cow induction. Yeah. Uh, he would he would do stuff beyond what customers wanted. We found the car like that, so it was well done. As if somebody was pretty crafty, not someone in their backyard. All right. So when people are seeing your car, do they uh, do they understand that uh, that uh, uh, it's uh, this special, or do they just kind of walk by it saying it's another 383? Some do until they read the signs and they kind of realize what it is. Some people understand what it is too. So. And here's Mr. Norm signing. That's when he signed it back in 09. I mean, this looks brand new, like it just came right out of Grant's ball. Yeah, not bad and for is... a ten-year restoration. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Pretty helpful ball. Now, do you ever drive it? This looks completely... I drive it around town to really? car shows and to cruise sites, but um, I'll trail at distances. What's the What's the uh, reaction when you drive it? It's tough to drive. Those old biased tires and that 440, it doesn't, you know, rocks and <laughs> the drum brakes don't stop very well. Yeah. So you're paying attention. Oh, you're paying attention. Okay, paying but attention. I, I was thinking more like, what do people think when they see it? Do they thumbs up? Do they know oh, what I it is? Oh, you get a lot of compliments. So okay. A lot of thumbs up. People... It just sticks out, you know. Yeah, it's the a, green it's, with the white. It's almost a specialty muscle car, so to speak. And it sounds great too. So let's hear that. Okay. Fact, let's fire it up. We'll uh, listen to it idle, and then we'll give it a little rev. We'll let let them know what the 440 sounds like. <laughs> No, no, keep it, keep it going. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Let me listen to it idle. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, because this is some fun stuff. Uh, well, Paul, stay right there. What? A, first of all, 
thank you, first of all, for sharing your car. And I really enjoy learning the history of it. And that's what the channel's about, is not only just sharing cars, but speaking on a platform for younger people to learn, as well as myself. And thanks for being on the channel. Thanks for being on my car story. Sure. My pleasure.